Minus 25 seconds. Sequencer is now controlling the final seconds. T minus 20 seconds, Mark. T minus 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. We're go for main engine start. 7, 6. We have main engine start. 3, 2, 1, and liftoff, liftoff of Discovery, and the first flight to retrieve and return satellites from space, and the shuttle has cleared the tower. Low program initiated, Houston now controlling. Low program completed. two-step fashion to uh, 89 percent then to 67 percent to pass through the period of maximum aerodynamic pressure. Throttle down to 67 confirmed. Forty-five seconds. Downrange distance two nautical miles. Altitude 3.9 nautical miles. Velocity 2200 feet per second. Three engines at 67 percent. Passing through the period of maximum aerodynamic pressure. Beginning throttle up back to 104%, the nominal throttle setting for this mission. Throttle's coming up. Engine's at 104%. Discovery Houston, your go at throttle up. Roger, go. Discovery's crew given a go at throttle up, velocity 3,400 feet per second, altitude 12 nautical miles, downrange distance 8 nautical miles. One minute 45 seconds, velocity 4,500 feet per second, altitude 18 nautical miles, downrange distance 16 nautical miles. Coming up on SRB separation in about 15 seconds. Thrust tailing off in SRB, standing by for separation. Separation confirmed. Nominal first stage performance. Houston, first stage performance, nominal. Okay, nominal. Two minutes, 30 seconds, velocity 5,600 feet per second, altitude 33 nautical miles, downrange distance 41, nominal, 41 nautical miles. Velocity 600 feet per second, now at 11,000 feet. Six nautical miles to go. Discovery Houston on glide slope, on center line. Now 4.6 nautical miles out. Airspeed 290 knots. 5,700 feet, 3.6 nautical miles. Now down to 4,700 feet, 3.1 nautical miles to go.
just had a report that our uh, entry time was uh, four seconds off. Roger, wheel stop. Look like an okay pass all the way. Okay, we'll get into the post landing. 